What's up, everybody? I just got my motorized package, and in here I have the secret sauce. <sighs> okay, I got it. No, no effort needed. Okay, let's see what's see what's in here now. Ooh. Oh yeah, look at that keychain, boy. Motorized keychain. Oh yeah. All right, so the real reason for this package is right here this is the front mount for the icon air flight it goes right here i'm just kidding it actually mounts down here on the vents as, as you can see there's a the 3m stick pad they're high quality um so i'm going to figure out how to mount this real quick it even comes with an alcohol sterilizing pad it's a sterile alcohol prep pad for external use only so try not to eat it i mean i know it's tempting and of course, there's uh, the box for complete drug facts, so it's got uh, good protein and stuff, but uh, try try not to eat it. But this is pretty simple, pretty easy. You would just, uh, well, first you'd clean this. I definitely need to clean this because I don't know how clean it is. But uh, you just take these little dudes, just skipper my doodles right there, neato burrito, and you just slide them right here. If I can do that while holding the camera because I'm not multi-bilingual. But here, you just slide them up like that. You'll press in the 3 and them, 3 mm -mm 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 adhesive. And uh, it actually fits real nice right there in the curvature of the helmet, which you probably can't see because lighting is weird. But yeah, it'll just stick right there. And um, I'm actually going to go ahead and do this. I'm still deciding on which mask to do to. I have a backup uh, face shield just in case. This one already has, like, scratches on it. Yeah, boy. But, uh, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and do it to this one. And, uh, let me mount it, and I'll get right back to you. Alright, just a quick little update here. I was hoping to already have this done, but, um, the one issue I'm running into right now is this very, very poorly designed GoPro mic adapter. Definitely not Moto Red's fault at all. It's the same issue I had with the side mount, and it's that this stupid thing doesn't fit anywhere. It doesn't really bend well, and uh, it's just caused nothing but problems. This mic adapter is the worst, and third-party mic adapters won't work with the Hero 5 or 6, so I'm trying to do what I can. If you don't have a Hero 5 or 6, you have like the 4 or the Session or something, and you don't want to use a mic adapter, you'll be just fine. But this, I'm trying to figure out where to put that without causing too much of an issue. I do know there's a case you can get where this actually mounts really well to the back of it. I do not have that case. So unfortunately, I'm going to try to rig this up to where it kind of works like that case would. So, uh, got some zip ties. We'll see how this goes. As I got it, it's on there. Um, as you guys, unfortunately, many of you know, GoPro's mic adapter is a terrible design, and I unfortunately had to do the same thing I did with my side mount, uh, and that is double zip tie it on there, so it's on there. I can still lift the camera up, take the camera out of the case, get the film I need, whatever, put it back in, it's all good to go. So everything's easily removable here. Uh, it's just the the mic adapter is once again causing problems, but uh, I'm sure many of you guys already understand that But uh, I was talking to the guy at Motorads and maybe he can come up with a solution actually So hopefully I won't be having to worry about this uh, anymore and you guys won't either But as far as this actual product of the uh, front mount for the Icon Air Flight, it seems really sturdy It hadn't been on there super long, so I don't want to like rip it or anything but, uh, yeah, it's, I, I like this. The fact that I can have a front mount for the Icon Air Flight, that's awesome. I'm going to try to get out and test it for you guys when I can. Uh, but so far, I'm really liking this a lot. So, as you can guess, the downside with the mic adapter as well is you can't really open the visor too much. Um, I'm actually going to see if I can work on that and try to get some slack in this uh, wire so I can open it further. And, uh try to figure out a way to do that but um if you're just using a camera mount for this helmet and you're not using a mic or anything this is perfect like absolutely perfect uh great front mount you don't have to worry about the uh the wind pushing it off on your side like you guys know happened to me uh if you don't i did have this uh side mount and i uh, was going down the road the wind hit it wrong and lost the camera fortunately gopro uh replaced it for me but uh, yeah, I was out without a camera for a few weeks. 
but having this uh, fronted out there is is much better. It makes me feel a lot more secure. So um, I'm gonna get out and try to test it some other time. But uh, for now, this is uh this is what I'm leaving you with. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, I'm definitely gonna leave a link in the description on where to get these. And if you use the code Danger, you'll get a little bit of a discount on your order. So you know if you wanna wanna uh, get one of these right here, you can just do a little uh, little uh, Danger. Little uh, discount, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Go grab one, guys, if you have an Icon Air Flight, man. This thing is awesome. So, uh, thanks again to Moto Rads, and uh, I will catch you guys next time. Always remember if you work for GoPro, tell someone to fix this stupid thing.